The top dogs came out for the world's most famous and prestigious canine event. The Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show has over 3,000 canines from around the U.S. competing for best in show every year. Dogs of all shapes and sizes came to the annual show, ranging from the smallest to some of the largest breeds. There were even breeds that were rarely heard of in the U.S. This is Eve. She's a two-year-old otter hound. And otter hounds were bred in England to hunt otters. And they're actually extremely rare. There's only 400 in the U.S. and 800 on Earth. The competition began with a Meet the Breeds event, where owners were able to showcase their dogs to the public. And then it was showtime, with close to 200 different breeds trying to win the top accolades. Before the show, we were able to talk to some of the owners of these incredible pooches. So what does it mean to be here today? Uh, we love coming here. It's, it's, it's kind of a good big rush to show and we like to show everybody our dogs and, and make them look beautiful. And yeah, it's, it's just, it's kind of special to be here. It's different than a normal dog show that we go to every weekend. Jack Hanna, the TV personality otherwise known as Jungle Jack, also had his praise for Westminster. You know, I always tell you, that's something to watch them show, but go back here behind the scenes, you appreciate it so much more because you don't understand the work that goes into this. I mean, it's amazing, the hundreds of hours it goes into some thousands, who knows? And perhaps we don't understand the money involved. To prepare, primp, and promote a dog to Westminster standard can cost anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 a year. And the winners aren't in it for the money. The esteem of winning the Westminster, the show with a long and storied history, is worth more than any monetary award. However, the owners can greatly benefit by commanding high fees for breeding their champions. Being here at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show was certainly an experience. Congratulations to all the winners and all the best for next year. Keely Hadland, NYFA News.